So, equilibrium, a balance between two different objects, things, etc. This is a very important concept within chemistry. It describes a state at which the process in reverse happen at an equal rate. And if there's a disturbance, it will react and rebalance itself out. Today, in order to help you understand equilibrium, we are going to use an analogy. This will not be perfect, but it should help you get the gist of it. So, picture a home from school, and lucky you, you only have a little bit of work. You know the amount of work you need and the amount of time you need to complete this. All of a sudden, your teacher drops two tests and a project on you. Your workload has now significantly increased. What will you do? You're smart, and you know the only way that you are going to get this done is if you buckle down and increase the amount of work you're doing. You do this until you reach a balance with the amount of work you have and the amount of work you are doing. So now do you see the equilibrium? To help you better understand this, we are going to do this in a graph. The blue line represents the amount of work you have, and the red line represents the amount of work you are doing. If all of a sudden the blue line goes up, in order for you to not fail, the red line must also go up until once again they are balanced. Once you finish the work, the blue line goes down, and so does the red line. This is the part of equilibrium we are trying to illustrate. At the start, the system is at a balance. Then there is a disturbance, i.e. gaining work. One of them changes, and the other reacts to rebalance the system. This video was produced by Matthew's Equilibrium Explained and allowed by Miss Extravore's Projects. I understand I probably put too much effort into this project, and drawing with vectors is hard, so if you would consider giving me a high mark, it would be much appreciated. Thanks and all!